Cecily would do her so much good if she took a short stroll with you in the park, Dr. Tarsi. Cecily, I have not mentioned anything about a headache. No, dear Miss Prism, I know that. But I felt instinctively that you had a headache. Indeed, I was thinking about that and not about my German lesson when the rector came in. I hope, Cecily, you are not inattentive. Oh, I am afraid I am. That is strange. Were I fortunate enough to be Miss Prism's pupil, I would hang upon her lips. <laughs> I spoke metaphor. My uh, metaphor was strong from the bees. <laughs> mm, Mr. Worthing has not returned from town yet. We do not expect him until Monday afternoon. Ah, yes. He usually likes to spend his Sundays in London. He's not one of those whose sole aim is enjoyment, as by all accounts that unfortunate young man his brother seems to be. But I must not disturb Ingeria and her pupil any longer. Ingeria? My name is Letitia, Doctor. A classical illusion mirror, drawn from the pagan office. But I shall see you both at Evan's song, no doubt. I think, dear Doctor, I will have a stroll with you. I find that I do have a headache after all. I might walk, I might do it good. With pleasure, Miss Prism, with pleasure. We might go as far as the schools in back. That would be delightful. Cecily! You will do your political economy in my absence. The chapter on the fall of the Rupee may omit seems somewhat too sensational. Even these metallic problems have their melodramatic side. 